Jesus in the multitude and to his disciples saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Or therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. What, what, but what, what do was, not ye oh, after what, their works, for they say and do not. What do they, what they, do they say to do and do not? What do they say to do and do not? What do they say to do? The Lord said they say do and they do not. To love the Lord, the first commandment is to love thy Lord, Lord thy keep God, the Lord. with all thy heart, no, no, with all thy mind, no, no, no. with all thy spirit. Keep That's the, the first commandment. Right. But you're right. It's based upon that. But I'm saying when the Lord made that statement, he said whatever they say do, do. For they, for they say do and do not. That's the Lord's. Right? All the Lord's. So as you read down, it says that the, go ahead, read it down, brother. Matthew chapter 23, verse 4. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born, and they lay on men's shoulders that they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. That's right. With all their works they do for to be seen of men, they make broad. Yeah, broad their phylacteries. Now. And enlarge the borders of their garments. <laughs> It ain't talking about that. It ain't talking about that. What does a what does a phylactery mean? Do you know what the phylactery is? It's a thing to put around your 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 your, your uh, What's your it? Wrist. What's in that thing? Not just around your wrist. Around your wrist, past your heart, and between your eyelids. Okay. Matter of fact, go go to that in Deuteronomy. I believe it's Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter. Were they supposed to do that? Were they supposed to have uh, phylacteries on and uh, uh, enlarge the border of their garments? What does it mean by their garments? Meaning they had fringes on. Enlarge the border of their garments, meaning to make these big flowing, which remind me of somebody I know. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. You know, that's just right. turn left. That's right. Like a train. Like like a train. Yeah, that's right. That's right. right. Now, it said enlarge the borders of their garments, meaning that they already had the garments on. They made them bigger. You're they made it so the, the whole garments. world can see it. You're supposed to wear the garments. Yeah, you're supposed to wear the garments. Yeah, in the you're supposed to wear the border of blue. Oh, I got a question for him. So next week, you got to have your fringes and your border blue on. I got a question for him. Since you want to talk about, since, since you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe in the Lord, can I ask you a question about the Jesus Christ, the Lord? Did he keep the law? Did, 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 did the Apostle Paul keep the law? Answer the question. Did the Apostle no, 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 Paul keep the law? He did not keep the Sabbath. Was that written? Yes, he did keep the Sabbath. Hold on a minute, man. He was eating ears of corn on the Sabbath, and the Pharisees came to him and said, Why do you do that no, which is unlawful on the Sabbath? No, no, he was still keeping the Sabbath. He's still on the Sabbath. But when he ate, when, it, when his disciples, uh, when, he, when they was eating the corn, they got him about it, and the, and the Lord said the Sabbath was made for man, man, not the man, man made for the Sabbath, well, man. And the then he used, and he used for his Lord in the Sabbath, all right? So he said this, if your ox falls on the ditch, in the ditch on the Sabbath, are you going to stop and put that, pull that ox up? Because technically you broke the Sabbath, all right? So that's what he was saying. Oh, did the Lord keep, did the Lord, read the scripture for me. Did Jesus Christ keep the, keep the law? People love to talk about, look, Christ came to destroy the law, which that's not true. Jesus Christ, he wasn't dealing with the law and all that. Read this, man. Matthew 19 and 16. I'm saying Jesus Christ for edification, but we know his name is Yahweh Shai. In the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, but I'm saying it for edification. Leviticus. I, I hate to use that damn name. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Matthew 1916. Stupid people out here. Not talking about you, brother, but just in general. We're talking about Nate. We're talking about Nate. To be specific. Stupid people. Nate like and Nate. The zombies. And them zombies that don't understand. Uh, and behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Well, hold on, this this. And where you reading that? At? Uh, Matthew 19. This guy came up to the Lord, Yahweh Shah, the Lord, and said, What can I do to inherit life? What can I do to inherit everlasting life? Because that's what the Lord was there for, right? Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is the most wow, high. Wow, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, or Christ, he said, I. He was perfect. He never sinned. And try not to say Christ, huh? That's right. Yeah, I, I despise. I despise. I, I, I hate Just that say the name. Lord, the, the Lord, Messiah, the Messiah. You know what I'm talking about. His name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Right. His name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord, he told the guy, "I'm not good." He said, "I'm not good." He said, "There's only one good, but the Most High Himself." 
Right, we done. But why, hold on, why did he say he was not good? Oh, that's deep. That's deep. Why did why did why did the Lord say he was not good? See, that goes deep. Can anybody yeah, tell me? 19? Yep, that goes deep. Why did the Lord say he was wasn't good? Did the Lord ever commit sin? No. Did the Lord ever commit sin? Yeah, the, 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 born in a sinful flesh. But Hold on, I gotta read commit? Commit, I gotta read Corinthians for that. It was born in sinful, uh, born in a sinful flesh. But it goes on to say some. I, I can't quote the scripture right offhand. But, but it say he was born in a sinful flesh. Uh huh. All right. But he overcame that. He overcame the. He overcame the flesh so with the spirit. So that meant that meant he didn't come, he didn't break the law, right? He didn't break any of the laws, right? No, he didn't break the law. I was, Thank you. Break the law. Okay, so no, why did he say I'm not good? Yeah. Yeah. If you're a good man, a guy to keep the law make you good, right? Yeah, that's right? Or make you perfect, right? Yeah. You know why he said that? Because what he did as King Solomon. Reincarnation. Do you know that the Lord was King Solomon? Did you know that? I know his genealogy comes from King Solomon. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But is he actually King Solomon? I won't go as far as to say that. Because you don't know. Because you don't know. That's, That's why we're here to teach you. That's all right, all right, all right, child. Can I read three scriptures? Well, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, no, no, no. We're going to finish that. We're going to let you read some we'll go... But we got to edify you as to yeah, right. showing you that the Lord was uh, a King Solomon, man. Right. Well, so we, can get it. we can prove it. He said it's one, it's one greater than Solomon here. Ooh. Is that the scripture it says one is greater than Solomon here? Yeah, that's the Abraham. Yeah, yeah. Was I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. It says, but. If thou will enter into life, this is the Lord talking to this young man. This is the Lord. If it was a red letter Bible, it would be written in red. That's right. Okay. <laughs> but if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. That's the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Messiah. He told his God, keep the commandments. That's why he told the people whatever the scribes and the Pharisees say do, yep. you do. And observe. That's right. So he kept the But do not as they do, because they say do and do not. That's right. That's and what right. is that? The law. They were hypocrites. So he kept the law. Also, the, <laughs> when the Pharisees came on to him and asked him, "What is the greatest commandment?" and he told him the greatest commandment: to love that, to love that, love that God I'm not with all that heart, I'm not with all that mind, with all that spirit. They and he sums it. up all the commandments. Of course, they were right? doing it. Because you know what? It says, love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, strength, mind, right. and love your neighbor as yourself. Let's go to the commandments. Let's go to the commandments. If you read on, it tells you, read on. And he said, the law is based upon that. So let's go to the commandments. He saith unto him, which, Yahweh I said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery. Start out with the Ten Commandments and all the rest of the commandments along with it. Read on. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. That's the law. That's the laws of Leviticus. The laws that Moses received to give to the children of Israel. Respect that. So you're supposed to. Yeah, I was shy. The Lord, he kept the law, and he encouraged other people to do so. He said he came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. That's right. 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 Honor, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And the young man See, said, the, I'm say so let's go to the actual laws, brother. The Pharisees wasn't was doing that. 20. The Pharisees 20. were not, that's why the elder Tahar said, he brought, you, you brought out the scripture and all that. The Pharisees wasn't doing that. They were hypocrites. They were perfect with they the They were law. hypocrites, yeah. Uh, in front of the people anyway. But they didn't love the people. Because they were number one, they were getting And behind, behind closed doors, they were committing they sin. They were committing sin. The wicked Pharisees. The wicked, the the wicked, wicked Pharisees. Pharisees. Because not all... Pharisees. Not all Pharisees are wicked, Like Nicodemus, man. he was a righteous guy. He was a right, he was a, Behind yeah. the scenes, the Pharisees, the, 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 wicked, the, the wicked hypocritical Pharisees. Pharisees was an office, man. That's right. 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 They were doing all kind of wickedness. That's why when that woman was, was married, Magdalene, right? When they brought her to be stoned in front of Yahweh Shai, they said, look, we caught it. Now, some of them wicked Pharisees was up in that. They said, look, um, we caught this woman in an act of adultery. There look, they were trying to trap up your house shot. And look, look, what should be done with her? What did he do? He didn't say nothing to him. He, said, he did. He knew what he did. He knew what he did. He just started writing in the ground. And it didn't say what he did. It but didn't say. You can. He, uh, says, uh, he is free from sin, cast it first. That's right. And what happened? They all threw the damn stones. And why did they do that? It's not written in there, but why did he do that? When you extrapolate what you thought it meant, because it meant that he was writing their sins down. 
Zachariah, you committed adultery with two women two weeks ago. He was probably right with us. It was a long while. It was a long while. And and one by one they walked away. Because he knew that they he knew their sins, man. It was a long while before he answered them. He was writing for a while. Then he finally answered them. Now, then he said what you just said. Yeah. That you didn't have without sin. And what did he tell uh, 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 what did he tell uh, uh, Mary? He said, "Go and sin no more." That's right. right. All right. That's right. Because what does what does the word sin mean? Transgression against God. The Lord. The Lord. The word is transgress the Lord. Right? Am I right? That's right. Let's read it. Let's read it. You put the word God in there. You, you're in danger of adding in, in, to the scriptures and taking away. First John, read that. Deuteronomy chapter First John 3 and 4. Add on take away. I mean, First I John 3 and 4. Okay, okay. I just want to be, my, right. I just want right. be, I got my sword and right. my scabbard right. right now, bro. All right, all right brother. Right there, Chris. Right. Right. right there. I got that four scriptures that I want to read. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. Okay, that's right. That's it. Jump down to the, uh, no, keep reading, keep reading. Uh, for sin is a transgression of the law, and you know that. And this he, is what he's got. These people out here that said the law is done away with. They ain't nothing but a bunch of devils. Go ahead. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth have not seen him, neither know him. Uh, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. He that committeth sin is of the devil. All right? So all these churches are a bunch of devils, man. They're devils, man. They're devils. Well, John 8, 44, he was talking to Israelites. He was talking to our own people. He called them devils. Bunch of black devils, man. So like Elder Taha is right. The Baptist Church of Devils, the Jehovah, all them Jehovah Witness churches out in the ghetto, them black and Hispanic, uh, they're all the devil, man. The Roman Catholic Pentecostal, they're all the devils, man. Black and Latino devils, man. That's what they are. So the Jehovah Witness come knocking on your door, them old pretty women, they're devils, man. Trying to deceive you, man. Hey, cause uh, the brother over there mentioned the word love. I got a scripture. This is 2 John and 6. It says, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that ye, that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk in it. So basically, I read this because that's love. And when they talk, when the scriptures talk about love, it's talking about keeping the Lord's commandments, which we only can keep it to the best of our ability in this captivity. That's right, man. We're going to keep it perfectly in the kingdom. Yeah. That's the beauty of being in the kingdom. We're going to keep those laws perfectly. Yeah. Without sin, without... And now look at this. Look at this here. Get, the, get that on camera. Yeah. Oh, my See? God. Oh, look at this. oh, oh man. man. Uh, Israelite. See, the white man is the devil. Come on, y'all can keep holding hands. Y'all can keep holding hands. Oh. <laughs> Boy, we're going to make you famous, sure. man. Uh. Don't you see that? Turn around and smile for the camera, man. The man, the now man. wait a minute, he they gonna I'm pretty sure they pass cops. Ain't no cop gonna say they're gonna say have a good evening. And what are you supposed to do? Jump on him and kill him. That's right. <laughs> on the spot. Yeah. Sorry. Kill him, mother. Yeah, kill him, motherfucker. Hey, the, the, the police is supposed to uphold the morality. It says that one of one of the one of them laws. And they don't have no they don't know nothing about mores, man. Yeah. Morals. Yeah, well, what's it's a wicked about society, that? man. Yeah, this and they're mad at us because we coming down here condemning them, man. Yeah. Are you out your goddamn mind? Yeah. That's why the Lord is going to destroy this place. Then you got this motherfucking Nate. Yeah. Excuse my French. Talking about we don't know when we're going to get out of here. It could be another 30, 40 years from now. It's complacent. 14th Street homo, he's saying the same damn thing. And you want to get the truth, you got to come here. Yeah, that's right, man. That's, That's right. why he's here. That's right. Can he knows where the truth is. I read the scripture now, bro. I read from Exodus chapter 23, verse 20. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pour thee on transgression, for my name is in him. 
name. Oh, oh, name. Oh, hold on. I want to judge. What, what name? What name? Judges. What name? Judges. What name? Judges, Judges chapter 13, I ask you again, what verse name? 18. That name keep coming up. And what the name? angel of the Lord said unto him, Why ask if thou dost after my name, the, seeing the, it is secret? Name. What name? What name? Hold what name? Hold on, you broke that down wrong. Yeah. You broke that down wrong. Read, read above that. That's about Manoah, right. uh, Samson. Father. Yeah. Okay, what, what did they ask the angel? They asked him what is his name, right. the exactly. angel's name. Right. All right. And he said, seeing that my name, no, 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 you can't oh, equate them to the scriptures, man. Right you just on, went man. off. You just went off, my man. You just went off. You pulling a Nate move, man. No, I'm not. You pulling a Nate move, man. No, I'm not. You, ready you can't pull a fast one over me, man. He says the angel of the Lord, right? He says the angel of the Lord will pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. This is Exodus chapter 23, verse 21. Yeah, the For angel my comes. Name my angel is the, in him. Listen, 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 listen. The Lord comes in the name. The, the, the angel comes in the name of the Lord. That's okay. Right. When Manoah asked him, go back and read it. Yeah, Let's read, read it. it. Manoah asked him, "What is your name?" Yeah. Specifically. The angel. Let's go back to it. <laughs> Pretty much. He said, "You know." He said, "I'm not. I don't, don't got to give you my name, yeah, yeah. seeing that is it is secret." You had certain angels that had. Secret names. Name the four archangels: Michael, Michael Gabriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Raphael and Uriel. Did they have their own names? But was the name of the Lord in them? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Judges 13 and 18. And the Lord and the angel of the Lord said unto him, 